This is like disordered thinking. This video is the, the video of a person with a disordered mind. Hello everyone. I am back. I bet you never thought you'd see me again. Um, I think the last time I was here, it was the pandemic and I was unemployed and sad. I've moved. I have a nice, respectable adult home now where I can have a couch. So I've got a couch, I've got a nice little background going here. There's Juno Birch plushie right there. I'm here because I got another doll. I've not customized any of the dolls that I got over the pandemic or I haven't finished customizing things. I had this um, need, this specific need. I have this character, which I'll put a picture of her up here. She's sort of a hybrid person. She's like, I done a drawing at the beginning of the pandemic of like the pandemic fighter called coronavirus, which doesn't really make sense if you're fighting the coronavirus, why your name would be coronavirus. But I've done her again, but this is like post pan, like not post pan, but like now pan, which is three years later and she's, she's exhausted. That's her, that's, that's the photo of her. And, uh, but she's sort of inspired by a couple of different people, ugly worldwide. If you've ever seen her on Instagram, I'll throw a picture of her up here, uh, right here, she'll be here, uh, her, and also the organist, Cherry Wayner. If you uh, don't know her, which you definitely do not, look her up, here's a photo of her too. She's uh, a full on drag queen, let's just, get right on with it. She's a full on drag queen. And she like was sort of semi-famous in the 50s cause she did a rock and roll television show called Old oh Boy. And she was friends with Cliff Richard. Um, and so she was like semi-famous then. And then she sort of like fell off the map but I can't understand why because she's got a face made for television. The woman's face is like a transformer. You light it different, you put different makeup on it, whole new face. The bitch is a queen. Please look her up. Please watch the videos. Please follow her on Facebook because I run that Facebook page. Thank you so much for your support. Now, obviously, we're here to talk about dolls. And um, I do plan to customize this one. Uh, last time you saw me, I uh, had no jobs. Now I have three jobs. I'm exhausted. It is 11 o'clock at night. I just got home from work. Uh, it's actually probably later than that, like 11.30 at night. I just got home from work. I'm haggard, I'm old, I've aged 10 years in the last three, um, but here we are, here we are. I'm gonna talk more because I haven't done this in a while. I was looking for a specific type of doll. I needed her to be short and I needed her to not be traditionally beautiful and I needed her to be the right proportions, the fashion proportions, you know what I like, you remember what I like, I still like the same things. So I needed a fashion proportion doll that was shorter than the others, who wasn't traditionally beautiful. It's not very easy to find. Most of them are just traditionally beautiful and very tall and luxurious like models because it's a fashion doll. So naturally I went on an internet search, but I found this doll. It's a Tamekin Space doll, nothing sapiens. That's the Instagram handle that you can find them at. Um, and this one's Naora, I think that's how you pronounce the name. She, it's like the most recent version of her. So they had an older version of her who was taller and had bigger proportions. This one's shorter and has sort of like more delicate, younger looking proportions. And I saw her and I thought, yes, that is perfect. I also needed like a darker skin tone. It didn't, it, you know, it's not that dark. Let's be honest, they're never dark enough, but sort of like a medium, medium light. If you were buying a foundation, it would be like a medium light foundation. That's the color. So um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I already opened this up, obviously. I had it sent to my job because there's a doorman there and I thought that's the safest thing to do. I couldn't wait, so I opened it up right at the table at work instead of going to work. So I've already opened it, but we're gonna open it here again. It's very exciting, yes. Uh, so here's the beautiful box. Everybody was very impressed at work at the box. I was like, yes, this is how they come. When you spend that much money on something, it better come in a nice box. And here it is, and it does. Gonna open the little box up. There's a photograph of her there. Here's a little write-up about her. She did come from Russia. Here's what we're looking at inside the box. Gorgeous, stunning, very nice. Gonna remove this little bit of foam. Just foam, so much foam. 
she's literally so perfect like i couldn't have asked for better i couldn't have asked for more actually the one thing i could have asked for the original sculpt of this doll had like a wider set nose which i wish this one had but you know beggars can't be choosers i was more interested in the height than i was like the the specific facial features anyway um here she is in her little box Ooh, look at her she's studded you know how i do let's do the boring stuff first we've gotten here a little pair of high heeled feet I feel like it looks darker in person than it does on camera because it's really blown out because of this ring light I'm using. But look at them, they're gorgeous, very nice, very nice feet. I wonder if I have any shoes that'll fit them. The shoes, such a problem. Here's the other one with the little feet. Also in this box is the sleeping version of the head. So she's got a really cute little face. Such a cute little face. I love her so much. Oh my goodness gracious me. I'm just gonna remove this because it's annoying me, if I'm being honest. Ugh. What I imagine to be the COA. We know how I feel about those. I throw them in the box, never look at them again. Yes, here we are. A little COA, Gal Naora. All right, let's pull out the doll. Here she is. She's so gorgeous, look at her, oh my goodness. I think she's 36 centimeters, so she's a little bit shorter than like a Bobby doll. I have one sitting here, we'll, we'll, we'll look at them, we'll have a look. Oh my God, look at her little face, it's so cute. Just like the right amount of weird for what I was going for. And uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, so do I remember what I'm supposed to be doing here? Probably not. She's got a faceplate, so let's pull that off and have a look. Ski. Oh, look, she'll look at her little teeth. They're attached to her head. That's so cute. Here's the inside of the head. Has her name on it. And then NS for Nothing Sapiens. And she's got some green eyes in there, which I'll probably change out to brown. Here, let's, let's look at some possibilities, shall we? And she's got her head. Has a nice range of motion down. Now it's not as good back, but it's fine. And side to side, good, very nice. She's got these cool shoulders. Her little, little elbows double jointed here. She holds poses nicely too. She's got some mobility in the wrist downwards, not crazy, but upwards is nice. Pretty little hand. Just like a little bit of like a weird position. Love that, just what I wanted. And then she's got legs that go like this. So it goes like this. Let's see if it'll go further. It will. So it'll go all the way up. She's got some nice range of motion in the foot, which you know I love a pointed toe. I don't like a biscuit on the end there. And the back, not so good, but that's fine. And then knees, double jointed knees. I did have to pull out the bottom to make it do that, but you know, I think that's pretty, pretty normal, pretty normal for these dolls. Gorgeous, nice, nice posing, nice posing here. Chest goes down, chest goes back. Oh, she's got a really nice arch, which is great. It's gonna be nice for the uh, really bizarre Cherry Wainer posing that we'll, we'll, we'll end up doing. Someday I'll get her a poodle and a Hammond organ. You'll know what I mean if you watch the videos. You should watch the videos. I take every opportunity I have to promote her because I think she deserves to be more famous than she is. And then side to side, very nice, very good. There's a hole there, but you know, that's normal. There's always a hole somewhere with these guys. Yeah, that's her. I feel like I got all the posing down. So rusty. I'm very happy with her. I feel like she's, I mean, the profile on that nose is nice though, right? I just wish it were bigger, but it's fine i mean it's gonna work out just fine uh let's see her next to a papave just to see the height the height difference i haven't touched this doll in like a year i touched her when i moved that's like the height disparity which seems like a lot but i guess it's because her feet are like pointed all the way down because she's like got these ballet feet but i'm very happy with that because i wanted this girl to be real fucking short and that's real fucking short i like that so much really stunning, really gorgeous. I have like a very specific style that I want her to have. So I don't really know that any of these clothes are it, but we'll see how they look on her. Uh, maybe that's the back. 
I mean, it does fit her. I did not really covering anything. Maybe that is the back. Let me try it the other way around. I think it goes this way. But I like the deep V. I feel like it's very Cherry Wainer. If you don't know who she is, look her up. Watch her videos on YouTube. Follow her Facebook page. I don't know. The reason I like started thinking about dolls again was because uh, BJ Divas contacted me and were like, hey, remember that doll she doll you bought like three years ago? Well, doll she told us it's ready. And I was like, wow, yeah, I remember that doll she doll I bought three years ago. Cool, it's ready. Um, and then they told me that it was gonna cost like $100 to ship it because of COVID or something. And so I was like, tight, I don't really wanna pay that. And then they were like, oh, but we can ship it to you in pieces for $15. And I was like, cool, I'll take it. Um, so, oh, this is okay. Maybe need some adjustments. Uh, and so that was probably a couple, I want to say it was a couple weeks ago, but like realistically, it was probably six weeks ago. Haven't really heard anything from them since. So we'll see if I, that ever that ever arrives. But I like was thinking about it. I was like, I really want to do doll stuff again. In what free time? I don't know. But um, here's her in this little jumpsuit. I mean, it's pretty cute. It's kind of too big in the back. Can probably do something about it though. It's not really her style, but I have to make her clothes. And when is that gonna happen? I don't fucking know. What's her style, you ask? It's like, it's like the drawing. I wanna make her clothes that look like that drawing. And look at uh, Ugly Worldwide's um, Instagram page that that's the style i'm gonna put her in this new york sweatshirt from that's a boy barbie costume is that right am i stupid that's cute on her like that's more her aesthetic do i have pants here that'll fit her no i don't this ken sweatshirt might be nice on her i like can't believe i'm sitting here at 11 30 and i doing this if i'm honest this is great this is like one of those um, action figure sweaters, which actually probably like is her style and look good. Let's try these shorts. This might be the best option for now. Yes, this is it. This is the best I can do at the moment. I have to make her something. Yes, that's that's the best I can do. This whole outfit is like a Ken outfit. It's like one of those like thick Kens. And it actually fits her great. It's like a perfect fit. So if you're looking for um, uh, uh, clothes for these dolls, thick Ken fits perfect. And also this little dress, this one sort of suits her. It's like that, you know, that sort of like 90s does 60s, but also like just the 90s, like baggy clothes sort of crop tops, a lot of body, but like not a lot of body, you know what I mean? Like a lot of body on the top, not a lot of body on the bottom. Like I'm a, I'm a woman on the top, but a boy on the bottom. Shoes, fuck, is this cool? Like if she wears like a flotation device? Actually, is it? <laughs> is that cool? This is like a vintage Barbie thing that, you know, just came with something that I ordered once. It like doesn't fit and I like really want it to because I think it's actually kind of cool. I have two shows tomorrow, so I'm gonna be at work for 10 hours and this is what I'm doing right now instead of sleeping. I'm gonna go we'll cut it here. But here's a box full of shoes. I don't think anything is gonna fit in her. I thought her foot was smaller than it is, honestly. It looks like it's about the same size as the Popovi foot. That's what I spent a lot of the pandemic doing. I drew a lot of stuff because at first I was just, those are huge. At first I was just um, copying things because it was like a mindless activity that I could do. And then I started um, actually like being inspired. And so, I don't know how I'm gonna get her foot in there though. Could slice it up the back. And then I started like actually creating stuff, but still sort of copying it. I feel like this might fit her. It's like a little Doc Martin, but I'd need to slice it up the back so I could actually get it on her foot. Let's try her high heeled foot in one of these just for shits. These are my old Rheingard. They go with my Rheingard doll. 
but I'm gonna try her foot in there because I feel like they have similar size feet. Nope, it doesn't work, it's too big. Huh. I have not a shoe in the world. All right, so shoes are a battle. The tiny shoe horn. All right, I found something that fits. It's these little shoes. I got them off of Dalmor. They're like fake Adidas, which are like cute and they like kind of soothe it. But like also they're not the vibe. I want like a platform sneaker. You know what I'm talking about. Like those sneakers that everybody's wearing the late 90s, early 2000s with like a really gross platform on them. They're like kind of popular again. Um, I'll probably, I bought a pair but they're coming from China and they haven't shipped yet and it's kind of been a while, so I don't know if they ever will, if I'm honest. I don't think they're gonna fit anyway. They're gonna be too too wide, she's gonna have clown feet. If anybody out there makes doll shoes and I can give you some measurements on a foot, you let me know and you are you can make me the sneaker of my dreams. I feel like that'll be great for me, personally. Maybe we can trade, I can make you like an outfit and you can make me a shoe. Seems like an unfair trade, but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. She's gonna have a nice little story that'll come together someday. If I ever um, paint her, gotta measure this head for the wig that I got made for her. Uh, I feel like this video is really disorganized as my whole thought process all day has been. What's her name gonna be? It's gonna be Cherry because that's the best name in the world. <laughs> Obviously, cherry way to look her up. We got a little face. Do those green eyes bother me? Should I change them out and see if we like brown better? It's gonna take me like two hours to get eyes in because we all know that I can't get eyes into dolls. Oh, it's a magnet. Look, the little teeth are a magnet. That's so cute. Damn. I just want her to have really dark eyes, like little black succubus holes. When I found out that doll she doll was coming in, which it still hasn't, so I still have no very little hope for that. Um, I started looking for the eyes that I bought for it, but I moved and I must have put them somewhere. Like I remember not taking them out of the package and when I moved, I must have put them somewhere and I have no fucking clue where they are, which sucks because they were good eyes and I don't think that a store that I bought them from like exists anymore. I like those more. I'm gonna go with them. She's so cute. I think her teeth are a little crooked, just like cherries. If you know, you know. Look her up. <laughs> All right, you know what, guys? It is uh, very late. The only clock I have is, oh wait, I'm wearing a watch. It's 10 past 12. I have done nothing to get ready for bed. I always need time so I can cry in the shower for an hour and a half. That's not true, it's just an hour. So I'm gonna need to go do that. <laughs> I've also been sick all week and I keep thinking it's COVID, but then I keep testing negative, so I guess it's not COVID. I mean, I guess I'll just keep testing negative until I test positive, but I don't feel like better or worse. I just feel bad. So I don't know, we'll find out. Could just be that I'm exhausted from all my jobs. I really shouldn't complain because when I was unemployed, I was very unhappy. This is my Tamekin Space doll, Naora. Nothing sapiens, look them up. Their dolls are fucking incredible, if I'm being really honest. Everyone is gorgeous. Everyone is a little bit off, a little bit weird. Very pretty dolls. That's that's the video, guys. I'm, I'm real tired. You can probably tell by the deteriorating status of my speech pattern. Yeah, maybe next time it'll be like earlier and I'll have like the capacity to actually uh, speak. This has been a, like a very disordered like ADHD video. No real like thought process, just a lot of stream of consciousness and like doing stuff that doesn't make any sense. But you know, we're back. Hopefully I'll get, get around to like doing some actual work on these dolls. I should have some time coming up soon because one of my jobs is over, one of my three jobs. And I would really like to do that. That's why I bought this so I could work on it and like make it the thing that I want it to be. And hopefully I'll be around a little bit more often than never. I'm really hoping that for me. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this doll. I mean, I haven't seen it around very much, so um, I'm glad I was able to share this experience with you. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to have some time to get back into this. I'll give her a little, little face up, make her some clothes, try and make her some interim hair. 
I, I apologize in advance for the hair that I'm gonna try and give you. But look up Cherry Wayner. I'll leave some links down below actually, just so it's, I make it really easy for you because I'm gonna push this agenda on everybody I know. Cherry Wayner, look her up, follow her Facebook page. I'll post that down below too. All you gotta do is click and follow, click and follow, click and follow. I run the page. So if you wanna, you want some lit content, I got it for you. You'll love her. If you love drag, if you're into the drag scene, Baby, she's a drag reference. She's from the 60s. She plays the Hammond organ. It's a wild ride. I'll see ya. I'll see you next time. <laughs>